I said, I said, you know what? I said, when I heard you play the horn, it reminded me of everything that I always loved about music. It just reminded me of everything I always loved about it. It just lifted me up and made me feel better. And we sat there and talked about that that night in Atlanta City, you know, and, and you know, it got kind of deep, which musicians don't do too often. But you know, that particular night we were talking about how, you know, the gift of music and talent is really not what you want from it. Not being able to stand up on stage and go, "Hey, check out what I can do." It's really about the, the gift of being able to share, to be able to. You know, play slow, take your ego out, and play slow with the right spirit. And it connects us all, it connects us with ourselves, it, it, it uh, brings out the best of ourselves. <laughs> and it, it, uh, it sort of lifts you up. And, and Clarence was saying, you know, that, that's the thing. Because these guys, I mean, they, they got to the big room. You know, they got to the big room. They played hundreds of thousands of people. And they would walk on the stage, it was just surreal. But they could put that energy in the crowd and lift people up and lift people's spirits. And that's what Clarence was trying to give. That's what these guys, everybody was on the stage tonight. That's what it's all about. It's all about what we know is here. So, in that spirit, I want to introduce to you one of the stars of the Indian, the Cruises movie, one of the great sax players of all time. Can you just please manage it into this song? This song was a gift that was given to me that uh, we got to play in the bars, you know, since the early 70s. And two just blows magic into it anyway.
for a dear friend who passed way too early. He gave a lot and asked for a little. He gave it up every night that he put his home on. Clarence and I were friends for over 30 years. I just met his son, Nick. And it wasn't like I was looking at Clarence when he was like 30 years old. And Jake, who was up here earlier, that's the next generation. Looking to give the music from the heart, from the soul, from the spirit. So that when you leave here today, you know you were moved by all of us. Gary Talent. Spent many years trying to find the right notes. And he found them early on to complement what Bruce was doing. So when Clarence stood to the center of the stage, and like they say, he lifted up his arm and he shook the heavens. He didn't really go away. He's just with us in another way. In a way that you can press the way close it inside your heart. For me, I'm going to try, like I've said a couple of times now, I'm going to channel and turn my heart. We were friends doing the same thing. For the love of it. So that if we passed away today, you know that was the best we could have given you.